Morning folks and welcome back to the WTF for another video. Uh, it's been uh, been a bit of a while since we put up a video. It's um, not not since uh, Christmas. Uh, been busy with uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, projects, mainly a winter project actually, which we'll show you uh, in due course. Anyhow, uh, we are changing the theme a bit. We are doing a little bit on television. We've uh, uh, done uh, jet engines, radio, electronics, and uh, so I thought we'd uh, move on to a bit of television. And I've got behind me here a nice old vintage 405 line telly, which uh, I want to show you, which I managed to get working and uh, hopefully um, inspire a few people to restore an old uh, <coughs> vintage television. They actually are actually quite fun, uh, actually. They um, uh, they they always. Um, I don't know what it is about them uh, that uh, uh, when I get one of these old things working, you realise that you know an old television you know used to be such an important part in people's lives back in the 50s and 60s, and when you get one of these old things, you realise that uh, they've actually uh, witnessed quite a bit of history actually over the years. Uh, so it's uh, it's quite nice to uh, restore uh, an old uh, telly. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is we'll show you. Uh, what we've got here, it's quite a nice one. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't working when I got it. Uh, I had to do some repairs, mainly on the line output transformer, which is often a problem with these televisions. And uh, and uh, she'll show you how we can uh, receive um, modern digital television, which uh, you would think that um, isn't really possible given the 405 line broadcast like stopped. Uh, uh, donkeys years ago, I think probably about 40 odd years ago. <clears throat> so, but uh, with a, some clever technology, you can still receive digital satellite and digital uh, terrestrial television. Anyhow, without further ado, let's uh, show you the in insides of the television. As Big Clive says, one moment, please. So I've taken the back off this television and you can clearly see that the chassis is in really good condition. A lot of these old televisions, they're usually covered with grime and dust from years of use, but this one's actually in, in pretty good nick. Uh, I've got it rigged up to an auto transformer. One of the problems with these old tellies is that the chassis were often live. Uh, so I've got, uh, got an auto transformer there um, just to try and isolate the mains. And you can you know you can see that it's in in good nick and one of the things with Philips televisions well certainly of this generation that the components were really good quality so there's very few components that have that have had to be replaced it's just one or two capacitors and resistors and uh it was relatively straightforward to get it working the main problem with this television um which was why it was uh, sold originally uh, was the uh, line output transformer and this is uh, this little device here or some pe sometimes it's called a Lopti uh, this is uh, actually a spare one the original one that uh, um, was in the, te the television wasn't working and the spare also uh, wasn't working either and one of the problems with these line output transformers certainly in the Philips uh, televisions is that they were renowned for um, giving up the ghost usually the primaries on them would uh, burn out and indeed I have actually repaired or rewound both the uh, the line output transformers the spare and the one that's in there at the moment and uh, it works pretty good and I'm going to do a separate video on how to uh, to rewind a line output transformer because I think usually uh, when one of those is uh, not working or burnt out, that's usually a um, a bit of a big problem for old tellies. You know, trying to get them, uh, trying to find replacements is very difficult, and um, a lot a lot of people are, are, can be a bit put off with the idea of rewinding a line output transformer. But it's actually not as bad as as one would think. And I'm gonna I'll do a, a separate video on how to. Uh, or how I how I uh, got rewound the uh, the lopsy on on this uh, TV. Anyway, let's um let's just have a quick look because you can the beauty with this this TV is that the chassis opens up like this, and uh, 
I'll just reposition the camera so here's the inside of the or should I say the other side of the chassis now that I've swung it open you can see the tube there deflection coils and down there is the newly rewound line output transformer uh, down the bottom there you've got your RF stages uh, for the video and the sound uh, dropping resistors there pair of uh, rectifier tubes and that's the tuning unit so it's all very simple and it does work pretty well anyhow I think what we need to do is connect this television up and we will see what sort of picture we get so if you're interested in receiving terrestrial TV or satellite TV on a 60 year old or 70 year old television such as this uh, 405 line beauty uh, there's a few things you're going to need uh, well one important thing you're going to need to uh, uh, to watch te television and I'll just show you the, quickly the setup so this is the this is a uh, free view box uh, it's just a simple cheap um, set top uh, digital uh, receiver that's the aerial coming in and we've just got a standard UHF TV aerial there coming in uh, from the roof and then the um, the main thing that um, really is essential for watching old tel watching old tellies is this uh, little black box which is an Aurora standards converter so the video comes out of here, composite video comes out of here I've got a SCART connector on this digi box um, and then it goes through the AV cable into the standards converter which converts 625 line video into uh, a modulated 405 line RF signal which plugs into the aerial socket there okay so that's what we need to receive digital television on an old 405 line telly so let's turn it on and see what what's on the box so to speak right the telly's on and what you can see <clears throat> there is the um, test card C which has been generated by the Aurora uh, <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll turn on the um, uh, the uh, digi box and uh, see what happens just booting up action was cancelled during last month's strikes hospitals dropped it in so this is the ITV news cover, but it's estimated a quarter of them are on leave due to the Easter holidays the BMA has confirmed there are plans to protect patients, which could involve pulling junior doctors off the picket line if individual hospitals report lives are in danger. Alex Isaac, ITV News. The funerals of two British Israeli sisters shot dead in the occupied West Bank are expected to take place later today. 20-year-old Maya and 15-year-old Rina Dee were killed while travelling on a family hiking trip in the Jordan Valley. Their mother, who was also seriously injured, is fighting for her life in hospital. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. The mother of a nine-year-old girl who was shot and killed in Liverpool has joined in the chorus of voices pushing for a new law requiring criminals to be present at the time of sentencing. Olivia Pratt Let's just change channels and see what else we got. August. Cashman refused to appear... BBC Two... A little bit of uh, Easter church singing. That's BBC One Wales. Match of the day. Tavernier looking for Solanke. Amati's lost it. Solanke, the angle isn't favourable. Everson in the way. Out as far as Tavernier. Bodies in the way. Bournemouth banging on the door again. 
Leicester just about surviving again. Well, I could go through a whole load of channels on this, but uh, you get the gist. Let's just uh, put it off for a minute. So we'll go back to the test card. Just turn the volume down a bit. So there we are. That's the uh, 405 line, the Philips 17 GT100. And uh, I think you'd agree, it's uh, not a bad picture actually for a 60 year old television. Anyway, what we'll do in the next video, we'll I'll sh show you how I uh, rewound the uh, line output transformer. Because if you've got an old television and you've got one of those that's faulty, that can often be a, um, a game stopper. So uh, we'll have a look at that next time. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to catch you all again soon.